Okay, so I'm here with Reece Nevin, uh, just turned pro recently. Obviously, started his golfing career at Hartford. He's one of our one of our very own. So, how's it, how's it going, Reece? It's going well, yeah. It's going well. It's been a good uh, good few months, especially when I got back from Tennessee. My game has been good, and it's been nice to get a lot of support from people who I grew up playing with. Yes, yeah. Now we're here interviewing you. Yeah. Turned pro. So, how did you start off playing golf? What age uh, my granddad got me into it. I was hitting plastic balls on the range um, at Hartford, and then I um, got a handicap. I think I remember my first handicap was ten uh, when I was age ten. Um, I think I went up a little bit because uh, I couldn't play to that. But yeah, ten's a serious yeah. handicap. To start with. Yeah. <laughs> so that was good. Uh, I remember winning my first board comp here with my granddad in the pairs. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot of good memories from growing yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember playing with you in the early comps when you were probably about ten years old, hitting driver to yeah, all yeah. the par threes. <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously, you, obviously the golf got pretty serious, and you got you got yeah. what kind of what age were you down to scratch? You remember? Um, I remember. I think I got plus figures um, around about the time I was getting recognised by England. So I think mm. probably fifteen or sixteen. I was. Um, Scratch or plus figures. So that, that kind of age, you're thinking golf could be a career. And yeah, I think that's probably the time I, I stopped playing football as well because I realised okay. uh, you know I need to prioritise one and uh, yeah. golf was um, yeah. definitely had some potential there. So and obviously the decision to go to America, Tennessee University. Yeah, uh, that was probably the best decision I've ever made. Not only for okay. my yeah. not only for my golf. Um, but living over there for five years, um, you definitely have to do a lot of like growing up and yeah. you're fending for yourself. So it was really good. And through a pandemic as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> through through a pandemic and a lot of uh, like, you know, Trump was president there. It was a very interesting time. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what what's the, I mean? What's the how do golf courses in America compare to Britain? Um, T- tougher or just different and yeah just it's very hard to compare like a, a Lynx course compared to one of their Parkman courses is completely different completely different mm. type of golf but they're definitely great in their own mm. ways I'd say yeah. and uh, what was your, what was the sort of best city or favourite place you went to um, it must be all over America yeah we tournament. were lucky enough to travel all over um, I really liked San Diego we won a tournament there and got to stay over um and see a lot of this, see a lot of the city. Um, that was a really cool place. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if you find the right place in America, I mean, it's it's a really, it's it's a really good, good place. It's really good for golf as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and then, sort of spending was it five years in total you spent out there? It should have been four, but because of the pandemic, I, right. I had the chance to stay another year. Okay, and that probably um, wasn't a bad thing, was it? Because you were still playing a lot of golf. It, yeah, well, yeah. it it, t- it worked out really well for me because there weren't um, a lot of opportunities at the time of the pandemic because no one obviously there's a lot of uncertainty so it was mm. nice to kind of be able to play golf over there use the facilities still and i stayed over there for the summer and played in tournaments like the u.s amateur and it was really good yeah okay yeah, yeah. and scoring average went down every year didn't it yeah scoring average um was good I, i'm proud to say like i've got my name on some of the records there like and um yeah, I wanted to make my five years there worth it. Yeah. I think I did. And then the plan was obviously to turn pro event at the end of that, and you, you yeah. kind of came back for the summer, didn't you, to England? And yeah, I came back to the sum- uh Came back in the summer. Um, I w- I didn't want to turn pro straight away. I wanted to kind of weigh up my options. Um, and in the back of my head, I wanted to win a big one, and I did. I won the Walton Heath Trophy. Um, and that kind of gave me a lot of belief and yeah, in something just pro. clicked yeah. and yeah, and yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's one of the big amateur events, isn't it? So that must have been a big relief to get yeah, that there's, win. And, there's yeah. a lot of good uh, good names on that trophy, like Danny Willett and yeah. um, Ross McGowan, who, who also went to University of Tennessee. Okay. And right. um, but yeah, that was, I'd say since then I've a lot more belief in my game. Not like technically I haven't changed, but my Scores have got lower, and I just think that's all like mental, just knowing I can right. So win it's more mental rather yeah, than yeah. changing you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not changing yeah. anything. I just know yeah. I can. My best is like good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously that's kicked on. Then you turn pro, and yeah, um, I turned pro. I won in my second event on the Jamaica tour, um, and then 
the, my main goal was to secure my playing rights for next year on the Euro Pro, um, Euro Pro Tour. Yeah. And last week I managed did to that do that. Convincingly, yeah. didn't you? With a yeah. joint, joint first place and. Yeah, joint uh, first. The second day was a. Uh, a nice 61. 61, yeah, a special day. Um, um, it was nice to, you know, Q school can be very, very stressful, and it was nice to yeah. kind of avoid that. And it's just a stepping stone, isn't it? So, yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah, you're know, you not going to get carried away yet, but it just gives you confidence on it to sort of hit next year. Yeah, and... like hopefully this is the start of working my way up to to like European tour and playing mm. with you know the guys that um, ev you're watching every week on TV. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk us through the hole in one. Yeah, the hole in one was good. It was on the third hole. Um, we were actually first out in the morning, and it was a um, a short hole down the hill. So I hit a wedge. Bounced just before the pin, went past, and spun back in, and then yeah, so you saw it going off the tee. Yeah, I saw yeah. it go in, and it was it was it was. Yeah. You know, your first one. It was my first Can't hole in one, that. and <laughs> I was thinking to myself, like, I want to. You don't want to have a hole in one and then say like, oh, what did you shoot? Or two yeah. Over. Like, yeah, yeah. I wanted to make it count for something. So yeah. uh, in a way, it must be quite hard. Cause it was early in the round, wasn't it? Yeah, it was early in the round. The round, haven't you? And don't then the next side, the too. next hole was like. Um, out of bounds, all down the left. I was thinking, God, if you waste, <laughs> if you waste that hole in one. Yeah. But I got through that hole, and then I birdied a couple of us on the front nine, and then yeah, yeah sixty-one just, is a yeah. serious score, isn't it? That's the lowest score. Is that your lowest? Yeah. And first time I've been double digits under par. Right. Okay. Round, yeah. So. Yeah. It's not many goals. Like it was that. a good. It was a good time to yeah. to pull that round. So way. how's it? So then, obviously, you kind of got a winter of just practicing really now and hitting balls and yeah, winter of, a bit. winter of uh, practicing. I might. Um, going like in a way week somewhere to keep the game sharp um, yeah. and then but when does the Euro Pro start up next year? I think it starts around May time next right, year so okay. I've got a lot of time to figure out what I need to do better in my game and yeah. um, see where I can improve so I'm ready for what is hopefully going to be okay. a successful year. And so what, what's your goal for next year? Get a win on the Euro Pro? Or yeah a win, a win on the Euro Pro would be good. I'd, um, Obviously, I think it's top five spots gets challenge tour, so um, we'll see how it goes. I just want to play good golf, and I think that'll be good enough to be in and around that number. So we'll right, see how okay, it goes. yeah, yeah. A long term goals. Long term European goals. European tour is it back to America? PJ tour. <laughs> oh. uh, we'll 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 see. PJ tour. I think that's where you know most of the people in the top fifty in the world are playing. So if I'm if mm. I'm in that position, um, you know. I'd like to play on the PJ yeah, Tour. And I, got I had a good a bit of traveling. Yeah, yeah, I had a good time in America as, as well. I do like it over there. So yeah. um, we'll see. But for now, is uh, doing doing my job. Just over don't here. forget us at Hartford. Oh well, I hear all the time. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks very much. And yeah. Yeah. Best of luck for next season. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for all you do for Hartford Golf Club. Mm.